Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title below, I am doing another book haul. I recently just uploaded a big book haul like three or four weeks ago. And yes, I am coming back with another book haul because I recently purchased some books. I went overseas, I had a free check-in baggage. I thought I would purchase a few books because I live in a third world country and it's very difficult for a few books to come into my country. And so I took that opportunity to buy a few books that I couldn't really find. I went a little bit ham, I went a little bit crazy. Here I am coming to you guys with another book haul. I promise I'm gonna go on a book buying ban after this and I also actually just landed like i landed this morning and i am filming this a few hours after i landed so i'm coming in with you guys a little bit disheveled because i literally was on a plane a few hours ago this should be a pretty short video i did purchase a lot of books but they're mostly books of like a full series so it's a lot of books but it's technically not a lot of variety first off i'm going to show you guys a few of the books that i purchased actually in the airport and i purchased a few books there and I have yet to take it out from the bag that they gave me. So the first one I got is Loath to Love You by Allie Hazelwood. I wasn't planning on reading the novellas that Allie Hazelwood has but I figured I would collect all of her books because Love theoretically just came out. I did purchase it but it has yet to arrive at my house and I don't want to wait to film this video so I think it's gonna be fun to read this book and it's a very very short book. Once again wasn't planning on getting this but I saw it in the airport and it was 50% off so I figured I would get this book. And then I got Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I recently read Malibu Rising. I really liked her writing. I also really enjoyed the character of Carrie Soto in Malibu Rising. I never bought it because back then the version of the Carrie Soto cover I didn't really like. And then I saw this one and I was like, oh, I think this one is pretty fun and funky so i decided to get this version i've heard great things about this book and i also really enjoyed taylor jenkins Reid's writing i enjoyed the character carrie soto in malibu rising so i think it's gonna be an enjoyable read then i actually ended up getting daisy jones and the six as well i have yet to read this book also i've heard great things and once again i want to dive into tgr's books and i'm slowly getting into her backlist and so i finally got daisy jones and the six i also thought it looked super cute together the spines those are the three books i bought in the airport and then i bought glow by raven kennedy i do have guild glint and gleam but i'm missing glow and i saw this in a bookstore so i didn't buy this in the airport i bought this when i was walking around bookstores i recently went to a book warehouse and they had guild glint and gleam for very cheap but they didn't have glow and i really want to complete the whole series and when i saw glow i was very excited and happy because i couldn't find this anywhere in my bookstores so very happy about this purchase and then moving on i have a pile a pile of books that i bought online and i sent them over to my cousin's house because i stayed in her house while i was overseas and i don't even know where to start i'm very excited about these books because they're books that i cannot get anywhere in my country i have to like ship them over tax is super expensive shipping is super expensive so when i had this opportunity i went pretty ham pretty crazy first whole series that i got is By the way, I'm really happy about these books. I'm just really exhausted, so I sound exhausted, but I'm excited and I'm very happy that I finally have the Red Zone Rival series by Candy Steiner. These are indie books, so they're independent books. They're usually sold on Amazon, but I don't have Amazon in my country, and so getting these books are a pain in the ass. I require going through a third-party seller, and usually they hike up the price a lot because obviously shipping and tax is super expensive. But I finally got them because it was, well, it wasn't cheap cheap, but it was way cheaper than going through a third-party seller. This is a football romance series, and it's one of the series that I fell in love with when I read them in Kindle. And I really, really wanted to collect the whole series because I really enjoyed the series a lot. So the first book is Fair Cat. I'm actually reading this book right now. This is about Zeke Collins and Riley. They're both football players. So Riley is like a female football player, and it's really interesting reading about their story. I am actually going to be rereading the whole series so right now i'm actually in fair catch i am 
page 208. I read this on airplane. I'm very happy about that. And then the second book is Blind Side. It's also my most favorite book. And I'm also very, very sad because this is the only book that went through so much pain while shipping. The back part here bent and like the paper. I don't know if you guys can see it. Paper is a little bit whack. So Blind Side is definitely my favorite. This is about Clay Johnson and Gianna Gianna Jones. I almost said Gianna Jones as if her name is like Indiana Jones. This is about Clay Johnson and Gianna and I really liked this whole storyline. Um, it's fake dating trope and obviously the spice in all of these books, they are absolutely phenomenal. I thought everything just flowed really well. Probably my favorite football romance book because I loved Clay Johnson with all my heart. The third one is Quarterback Sneak. This one, I have to admit, I don't really remember the storyline of this one. I just know it's about Holden, but I don't know the female character in this book. Um, Holden is a quarterback. I think out of all the books, this is my least favorite one. I don't know. I really need to reread everything to really get grasped. It's been a while since I've read Fair Catch and Blindside and Quarterback Sneak I read last year and Hail Mary, which is the next book in this series I read this year. And this is about Leo Hernandez and Mary. This one, I really liked the title and the meaning behind the title female character's name is mary and there's this trick in football called hail mary and i thought everything just flowed really well i also really liked leo's character in this once again we'll be rereading every single one of these books i'm just starting with the first book right now i am very pumped about rereading all of these books and i'm so so happy so glad that I finally have the series because honestly, I've been wanting to buy them for about six months now and I'm very happy about this. Next up is another series that I'm very excited about. I have not read these books. They're also really, really heavy. It is the War of Lost Hearts trilogy by Carissa Broadbent. And for some reason, they're really, really heavy. And I, I don't even know why they're very heavy. Maybe it's because it's indie published, but like the papers are really thick. Like each book weighs I think almost a kilo. Yeah, it was a pain to bring them back, but once again, indie books, very hard to get them. First one we have in this trilogy is Daughter of No Worlds. And I don't really know much about this trilogy. I just really liked Carissa Brotman's writing. I read The Serpent in the Wings of the Night duology last month, and I enjoyed that book so much. That book was five stars. The second book was 4.5 stars. I enjoyed that duology. I just loved her writing her pacing in her fantasy books, her characterization, I really enjoyed. So I thought I would really enjoy this trilogy. I also purchased The Serpent in the Weeks of the Night, but I purchased that through a third party seller. So it is not even here yet. It has yet to arrive to me. And this one arrived way earlier. So I'm very happy about this purchase. I'm very excited. I just know something to do with a girl who was in slavery and she wanted to buy her freedom and something happened and she ended up entering this thing called the order the second one is children of fallen gods and it's by the way really really thick i think this second book is 620 pages and the third book is mother of death and dawn and this last book is confirmed one kilo and 700 pages the last series i have in this haul i have actually read this series before but i'm once again doing a reread of the series the reason why i purchased them was because i wanted this version specifically i saw someone buy it and i thought it looked really really pretty i thought the paperbacks of the series they're really ugly so i saw the hardbacks and i fell in love <laughs> I bought Akatar and I bought the hardbacks because I thought they look absolutely stunning. I actually did not know how the cover would look like. So I was very surprised to see that they are full gray and the writing is red and for A Court of Mist and Fury it is green. A Court of Wings and Ruin is purple. But they're all like gray background with the colored writing for Frost and Starlight. I actually have this one in the paperback, like this particular version, and I don't really like it. So this is the only one that I don't enjoy. It's fine because they're still really pretty. I did splurge a little bit for these books. Give me a moment. I'm going to show you guys the versions that I have. My Avatar books are very different than a lot of the books that people have. 
and it's because I bought these when I was still really young. I think Akatar was released in 2015 or something and I purchased them when they came out and during that period, the cover of Akatar is this style. So all of my books for Akatar are this style of cover. I'm not saying that I don't enjoy this these covers. I really, really do love them. And also, if you guys can see, these books are really, really yellowed because I've had them for a very long time. I am very proud of my Akatar books because I feel like not a lot of people have these versions and I do truly enjoy these versions but because I really like these versions so much I don't want to annotate them. I think they're very precious. They're not even in production anymore so that's why I decided to purchase another version of Akatar which is this one. I don't really like hardbacks to be honest because it's really hard to read with the flap but I have yet to take off the front flap to see the inside and I am curious. Oops. It is a plain cover, but yeah, I am excited to finally get into Akatar again. I want to annotate them this time. I'm going to include one more book in this haul. I did purchase this before I left for my trip. It is Reckless by Elsie Silver. I have the little brown UK version because all of my Casa Spring series books are this version. I'm excited to get into this because I love Theo and this is about Theo and Winter and I'm very excited to see their romance. I'm trying my best to hold off reading this because honestly, just looking at my books right now on my table, I realized that I have a lot of books to read. Definitely not gonna buy any book this month. I'm gonna purchase the other Throne of Glass series books, but other than those books, I'm not gonna buy anything else because I have a lot of books in here. This is also the fourth book in a small town standalone series called Chess of Springs, and I am, once again, pumped and excited to be reading this book. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short and sweet little book haul. There will be no more book hauls for a while because I need to stop buying books. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video. That is it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!